Kadira has shown too much of that to Lalana. Kane. Now Henderson, he was aware of Welbeck in space. Ali will hit it first time. And he was always rising, but it was a sweet hit from the right foot of Deli Ali. Royce into Muller. Now Kroos. With a bit of space for Kadira. And now for Gomez. His first international goal for going on four years, but it's cancelled out by the linesman. He was offside. Just watch it, it's very close, very tight. Oh, he's on he's onside, isn't Nathaniel he? Daniel Klein on the near side. Klein's just played him on. It's a bit of luck for England. Ozil's lost it, and here's Kane. Nothing much to his right. But it might come for Welbeck. Oh, terrific challenge, and then hit by Lalana. Danny Welbeck just wanted a little too long there. Here we go again, look, pinching it again. England had done brilliant at that. But it just needed a bit more calmness from Lalana, just to steady himself, almost a side foot there, go for the corners. Jack Butland is carrying an injury here. Tony Kroos is on the ball. And maybe sends that and beats Butland on his post. And Germany take the lead. Jack Butland slowed down, has been carrying an injury for the last minute or two. And he just seemed to be caught out there by a well-struck shot by Kroos, but one that he would have expected to save. Yeah, he's just kicked there and he's limping. As he's kicked and finished through his kick, he's limped. He's got something wrong with him. I don't know if it's a hamstring or an ankle, but uh, he's not concentrated. He's limping, coming back, and he's got caught. Cruz has just gone early, it's a bit of swerve on it, but Butland's got to save that on his near pose. He knows it. Look at that, he's distraught. And I think his mind was elsewhere. It was on the, it was on his actual um, injury. Something's happened to him there. Look, then he had to kick it. He's in pain. Well, here is Fraser Forster. All six feet six of him. His season didn't start until January. He spent most of last year out nursing a knee injury and England can break with Delhi Ali three ahead of him Ali shooting and Noy had to make a save this is Welbeck a major major asset to his game Kadira in towards Gomez it's 2-0 to Germany Mario Gomez denied by a flag in the first half has found the net. Found himself with a mismatch at the far post. And the big centre forward heads his first international goal for going on for four years. That's a great stand up ball as well from Kudira. He just played it in over the top of Gary Cahill and uh, Klein can't get himself inside from that position from being a full back. And Gomez, what a fantastic header. He's just pulled off Cahill here, and then he's just guided that ball down into the bottom corner. There's no goalkeeper in the world would have saved that. That's an excellent header. Henderson takes. It's just over the head of Smalling. Kept alive by Harry Kane. And that's 2-1. First real side of goal tonight for Harry Kane and he does what Harry Kane does and finds the corner of the net and England are back in business with half an hour to play what a goal this is what a fantastic bit of skill from Harry Kane it really is he looks as if he's going to lay it back to the midfield two defenders go with him and he just whips it around a little Cruyff got to say it, a little Cruyff and he goes through the legs of the defender and there's no chance for Neuer that is a wonderful wonderful striker's goal Barkley, Ali, Barkley and Ali did play from the start together against France in the last international. Barkley's found Klein with a speedy burst, and that's terrific from Vardy! Oh, what a goal by Jamie Vardy! Everything he touches turns to gold. England on terms. And Jamie Vardy's first international goal is memorable. That's top quality, isn't it, from, from the whole team. The way they've shifted the ball quickly, a great ball from Klein. 
and Vardy gets across the front of the defender. What a bit of skill this is. The two goals England have scored have been of pure quality. Look at this, great cross, and that is the sign of a player playing with immense confidence. That is a fabulous, fabulous goal. Wonderful, wonderful play, Vardy. He's actually gone five games without a goal for Leicester City. It's his first goal since Valentine's Day. And let us not forget, this is a player who was playing in the Blue Square Premier League four years ago for Fleetwood Town. That's been won by Vardy. Pulled back for Raleigh. Oh, what a chance to win it. He's done nothing wrong all night long. 84th minute, goal gaping. And his worst moment of the night by far. First of three added minutes. Now it's for a big finish. Well, let's hope so. And if they if they do get the winner here, then they deserve it because this has been a really good performance. But uh, you know, the results the result. If it is two two, the way they've performed is uh, is important. Henderson takes in towards Dyer. That <laughs> just caps it off. Eric Dyer's first England goal is a winner in Germany. They come from 2-0 down here with half an hour to play. And from the moment that Harry Kane brought them back into this game, England have looked capable of winning it. Well, it's a better ball in from Henderson as well. It's a lower trajectory that a lot of his corners have been too high and Germany have been zonal marking. And that's the ball that you need to put on the plate. Look, the zonal marking, Dyer gets a run on him. And Schürrle gets across the front of him, and it's a tremendous header. And we've been waiting for that all evening from corners. The corners have just been delivered a little bit too high. That was perfect. It's a tremendous goal, and it's what England deserve. England win in Germany three times in a row. Eric Dyer's thumping header, crowned a comeback, which will provide a great deal of hope and optimism going forward towards the finals in June. First goal at England level for Dyer, following a first goal at England level for Vardy. Both he and Harry Kane scoring wonderful goals. And it's a wonderful feeling for these young England players to beat the reigning world champions in Berlin.